Action. Uh, it's uh, January 11th, 2014. Seattle right now with a five on three. What happened? Oh, the net's slightly off. It's a five on three advantage. 1306 left in the third period. I'm sorry uh, it took me a while to start taping the third period. Turns out one of those hits on Carter gave him a concussion, so I took him to the dressing room. So without the Carter for the rest of the game. And for a minute 41, there's going to be a two man advantage here. Wenatchee taking two penalties, one for interference, one for roughing. Now, cross ice for Remington. That shot in just wide, and Jacob couldn't get a piece of it. Wenatchee's going to clear that all the way down. Carson gathers it up. Now puts it off the boards. Here comes David. David moving across, gives it to, to uh, Mason. Mason on the far side. Tips at it. Right now, Seattle down 1 0. Good chance for them to make it up. Here comes Mason. Cuts to the middle. Puck in front. Jacob goes for a backhand and bounces off a leg. Unlucky there. Now Remington holding on to it, taking his time. Cross ice for David. David back to Remington. Remington winds up. Shot. And the goalie's going to cover that one up. Fifty-five seconds left in the five on three. Fifty. That's cleared out by Wenatchee all the way down. Carson will play that one. Wenatchee, first man down there. Five on three, and they're getting outskated. Carson just gave it to the Wenatchee player. Not his fault. He's got to get some help. There's got to be some speed coming from the Seattle players here. They just have nothing tonight. Okay, here comes Anthony. Anthony gets it across center. Still has it. Goes across the line and now dumps it away. It's a five on three right now. That means he's got at least two open men to pass to. Gave it right to Anachi. Here comes David winding up. David cuts to the outside, goes to the inside. Quick shot, goes wide. Now Caleb has it there, puts it in the corner for David. David behind the net, he's got a man on him. Man takes it away, David battling for it with George helping him out. Now Alex goes in there, tries to get that. Behind Alex, didn't know where the puck was, back to David. David puts it out in the front, Wenatchee gets it there. And the first penalty is over, the second penalty is over. So back at even strength. No goals on the five on three. Now a dive by Alex to take that away. George has it. Off the boards. Cleared in behind by Hutch that time. And goes down on the man. There's Alex underneath that pile. And Anthony's going to come away with it. Anthony puts it up for Mason. Mason lined up for a hit on that one. And the referee calls holding on Wenatchee. Didn't see that one, but uh, that's going to put Seattle right back on the power play. It might be 10.33. The clock is bad, but it looks like it might be 10.33 left in the third. 10.33 left to play in the third. Seattle with a power play, and puck just went wide. Mason trying to put that puck in. Mason really hustling tonight. Back to David. There's Remington, winds up, shot goes through, and the goalie's gonna cover that one. Minute 47 left to play in the power play. Hutch out to take that face off. One at that time, man knocked down with a shoulder. And a penalty call, probably. Indeed, charging on Wenatchee. Looked like a rough hit. Number seven kind of took a few steps to get to him. And that's going to be another five on three for a minute 41. So Snow King, with their second five on three in the third period, haven't managed to put one in so far. And the charging carries a two minute and a 10 minute misconduct with it. So one of the other one actually players has to go into the box. Now Hutch, trying to win that face off, comes back to David managed to keep it with it. Oh, and a chance for Alex. Puts the puck right into the goalie. Goalie makes the save there. Shot on net. 1.33 left in the two-man advantage. Hutch takes that face off. Wins it. Pulls it. And it's going to come back for Remington. Remington puts it back off the boards. Alex has it now. George in a battle in front of the net. Goes in behind the net. Wenatchee has it, and that's going to come out. David's going to be able to get this. David puts it to the inside. That goes to Hutch. He takes a shot, and once again, the goalie's going to grab that one. And George taken down after the whistle. Minute 12 left in the five on three. 
Hutch wins that face off again. Puts it back to the corner. Six is going to try and clear this up. It's, he does, all the way down. David will go behind the net on a pass from Carson. See if David will score here, get an assist for Carson. No, he's not going to. Pass up for Hutch. Hutch cuts before the line. His men have to hold up. Now Hutch is across the line, and it does go offside. Hutch, Jacob, and Caleb out there now on the power play. Five on three. That goes off of Jacob. Now Hutch making a race for it here with number six. Number six almost falls, and Hutch is going to come away with this behind the net. 17, so there's two men behind the net right now for Wenatchee. That means nobody's out in front except one guy. Now back to the point for David. David to the corner. Jacob in the corner. Looking to give it back to David. David looking to wind up here. Back to Jacob. 24 seconds left on the five on three. Back to David. David winds up and just wide on the blocker side. Puck comes out and Caleb tries to get a chance on that rebound. Now David, he'll get a wide open shot here. And he does off the side of the net. Now rebound comes out front and it's on the ice. Jacob takes a whack at it. It's still open. And the whistle referee blows his whistle. Hutch taken down in front. He looks like he might be hurt too. So he had a kind of a grimace on his face. But he's sitting up. He looks to be okay. Seven seconds left in the five on three. Hutch to take the face off. Goes to the side. Caleb's going to get it there. And Wenatchee's going to be able to clear this. And there goes the end of the first penalty. No, I'm lying. He got a double minor. So we're still on the five on three. So double minor for uh, charging on that one. So still on five on three for another six seconds. Jacob trying to get that puck out of his own zone. Hutch comes back to help him out. Winding up. Now it's a five on four. Hutch comes across the line. Hutch going through two man, and the goalie covers that up before Hutch can get that shot off. Minute 32 left in the penalty to number 13. So it's going to be a five on four right now. George out to take the face off. He's got Rolando and uh, maybe Alex over on the far side. George wins that, takes a shot up off the goalie's chest. Goalie lost it for a second there. And gets past David, bounces down. Here comes nine. In a foot race with David. Nine wins, goes to the outside, puts it off Carson's pads, and pa Carson holds on to it. Minute 18 left in the power play, 750 left in the third period. Face off one of the sideboards. Remington there going behind his own net. He'll pass it to Daniel. Daniel trying to work it up the right boards. He does, it's out of the zone. Seattle needs at least one goal in the next 7 minutes, 34 seconds. They've got the power play right now. One minute left in that power play. Pass up to... That's George. George coming across the line. Slows up, takes a shot, goes wide on the blocker side. Rolando giving chase along with Daniel. No, it's back behind the net for George. Oh, takes a weird bounce. Comes out front for Alex. Alex gets a shot off, but a leg saved by the goalie. Now stopped there by... Remington, Remington puts the puck just wide off a couple of legs in front and another penalty coming up. And this one's going to go against Seattle. And Rolando just pushed down by number nine. Not sure what the penalty was. Maybe goalie interference? I doubt it though. Number six cuts to the middle and Carson makes the save. I think Alex slides in there to finally touch that puck. And the call's going to be holding on Seattle. So, 15 seconds left on the power to play to Seattle. That'll kill all of that, so that off on a four on four. And with, I'm guessing, 647 left in the third period, Seattle's down 1 0. Carson makes that safe. In eight seconds, it'll be a power play for Wenatchee. Right now, it's four on four, but Wenatchee controlling play nonetheless. Wenatchee comes around front, puts it off the leg. Hutch trying to get that puck out of the zone. Now it's a power play. And Carson with another leg save and a whistle. Ref pointing at the net. Net must be off. It is. Minute 43 left in Wenatchee's power play. And that's going to be dumped all the way down by Mason. Behind the net. Caleb giving chase there. Puck tipped by Mason. Gets it again. He's going to get that one and keep traveling into the zone. Takes a hit, but just keeps on ticking. Kills another 10 seconds of the power play there. Long pass by Wenatchee. Well received. 14's going to hold it there, and Mason's going to line him up and take him down. 
Wenatchee still trying to come into the zone. Wenatchee a little shot in, but Carson's going to grab that one and hold on to it. 5.43 left to play in the third. Forty-seven seconds left in the power play for Wenatchee. Here comes Wenatchee to the outside. That's knocked away by uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. that was Daniel. Now Wenatchee cutting to the inside again. Drag, toe drag there, and Carson makes a couple of pad saves. Keeps it out. Back to the corner. Wenatchee still on the power play for 28 seconds. Shot in Carson with pad save. Lots of juicy rebounds out there for Wenatchee as well. Only able to score one so far tonight. None of them on rebounds. Puck all the way in. Daniel tried to knock that down with his high stick, but it got through. No matter. Eight over to 18. Takes a shot up. Carson's going to reach up. Try to grab that. Cannot. Daniel working at it in the corner along with George. And we've got an even strength situation. 444 left to play in the third. Puck out front, and that's going to be sitting in the crease. Referee blows his whistle. Something's going on. The net might be off again. And puck outside the zone. Looks like a Wenatchee player took the net off the moorings. 4.36 left to play in the third. Five on five situation. One of the rarities in this third period. Six comes back. Puts it up for 11. That's going to be taken away by David. David off the boards but can't get a pass. Now it's outside the zone. Pass across for Anthony. He goes in to get it. He's looking for somebody. Puts it all the way down the ice. That might be icing. It is not. They're saying that Wenatchee could have had that. Even strength right now. Number six behind his net all the way around. To number 11. That's taken away by Hutch. Hutch with a chance here. Has Mason in front. Hutch holds onto it behind the net. Hutch still has it. Tries to put it out front. Knocks off a leg. Hutch gets it back in the corner. Hutch now looking for a point. Crosses it and it's off a skate. Saw David on the far side and couldn't get it to him. David back to gather it in. Mason being called to the bench. Nope. Mason just being yelled at. Puck all the way down, and that'll go for icing. 3.36 left to play in the game. This or something. Shea Brown and Troy both absent from this game. They've been playing very well the last few games since they've joined the team. Now the puck off the boards. Seattle's going to have to find a goal scorer here with 3.21 left. Remington gets it, puts it up the middle for George. Will George be the one to crack this goalie? Seattle's been taking some shots. Everything's been going right to the goalie's chest. Now George digging for it there. In behind the net. George still working on it. Trying to take it away. Zips in behind. Caleb's going to rush in there. Throws a check, but the puck goes by. Now back for Anthony. Anthony flips it forward. No icing on this. Won't make it. 2.51 left to play in the game. Wenatchee behind their own net, working it up the sideboards. They get by Rolando, they get by Caleb. Going to the outside on David. They managed to get it to the corner. Now Anthony takes over. Interfered with by a Wenatchee player, but that's not going to get called. Puck taken away from Rolando on the sideboards, and that shot wide. Comes across to number 13, their captain on the other side. He's winding up, hits his own man. <laughs> that could have hurt if it hit the wrong kind of padding. And Puck goes in behind the net, right out in front, sitting there in the crease. Alex corralled it, managed to get it out. Or that might have been Jacob. No, that was Alex. Now 13 takes it and dumps it in. They know they've got the lead here with two minutes and two seconds left in the third. Seattle has to score within the next two minutes. We'll keep an eye on Mason, see if he comes to the bench for an extra attacker. Carter not available as an extra attacker. He took a concussion in the first period. Played a few more shifts, but just said he felt like he was in the third person. So we've got to assume that's a concussion. That's not a regular feeling. 1.45 left to play in the game. Face off back to the point for Wenatchee. Working in the corner. Even strength right now. Minute 36 left to play. Wenatchee working in the corner. Just looking to kill time. Six on the far side. Takes it, spins it, gets it off. And here's the puck outside the zone. Racing forward is George. George has got three guys on him, nobody to pass to. Jacob comes in. Keeps the puck in. Check there on Anthony, and the puck's in the, the Wenatchee zone. Minute 14 left to play. 
Mason still in the net. Outside the zone. Back inside. That'll be offsides if anybody touches it. They don't. Everyone clear now. And back into the zone. David puts it off the boards. Mason tries, or Hutch tries to get it and does. Here comes Hutch across the zone. Hutch takes a shot and it just goes. Goalie gets a piece of it. That was hidden for the side of the net. Or the inside of the net. That's where you want it. Hutch back to the point. Anthony puts it into the corner. Alex out front. Hutch, nice move in the corner. Take the puck away. Gives it back. There's David. Winds up. Shot. It goes off and up into the netting. 35 seconds left to play in the game. Carson's still in the net down there. Carson's come to the bench now. So we've got an extra attacker out there. Six skaters for Seattle. Five for Wenatchee. That gives them the advantage. And back to the point for David. David crosses it for Remington. Remington, quick shot. And that hits a stick in front and ends up right in the chest of the goalie again. 25 seconds left in the game. 25 seconds. Hutch wins that faceoff, but Wenatchee gets it and clears it. All the way down. That'll go for icing. 15 seconds to play. Seattle ready to line up. Hutch takes this face off, wins it back to Caleb. Puck is outside the zone, and the clock has just started. So I don't know if we're running the clock or not, but we got an extra four seconds out of that one. And now it's David. Cross ice pass, and it's in the zone. That's offsides. Doesn't look like they're gonna call it. One second left, it doesn't matter. And Hutch is not gonna get a shot off, and that's the game, one nothing Wenatchee.